Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. How are you doing today? You good? Because I know you saw the title and thumbnail, and you're probably really furious and ready to pounce on me. I'm not saying I'm never going to wear it again. I love my skinny denim. But yeah, we got seven days a week. I still wear it once a week or so, so you shut your But also, I am just a kid from a small town. My opinions and perspective really shouldn't matter. So take my story and my experience with the grain of salt, see if it applies to you. And if it helps, cool. How about you help your boy out, turn that like button blue so the YouTube algorithm gods can show love to this channel. And if it doesn't, still hit the like button and just click off this video. Okay, so let's talk about why I stopped wearing skinny denim all the time and why you should maybe consider dropping it a few times a week. And real quick, I just wanna let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Black Taylor. It was my start into getting out of my comfort zone and trying new fitments of clothing and aesthetics. We're gonna talk about them at the end of the video, but yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first reason why I stopped wearing it is because the same reason why I stopped wearing fitted tops. It was a mindset hindrance. And by the way, damn, some people really didn't like that video. But here's the thing with fashion. All of this is subjective. Fashion is everyone's own perspective, right? But anyways, as a reminder of my fitted clothes phase that I always like to make fun of, I only wore fitted clothes because that was what was ingrained in my head since I started watching style YouTube. Menswear was massive around 2010 to 2014. And we all know that menswear is all about fitted clothes and more fitted clothes. Nothing wrong with that. There are many advantages of rocking fitted clothes, especially if you need to dress like that. But for me, that translated to streetwear, you know, what my channel is mainly about. And bro, I was rocking skinny zipper denim, skinny joggers, regular skinny zipper pants with the extra long drawstrings. Everything I wore was skinny. Also at the time, I was working in the fitness industry and we all know that yoked fellas love wearing a size small when they really need a size large because they always need to look aesthetic. And also, I was just insecure. I needed to show people that an Asian dude can lift weights and is an alpha male. Pretty cringe. But I know a lot of guys are currently like this or are in this phase. And I'm not saying all of you guys that wear fitted clothes are insecure, okay? That's just my personal story. I was an insecure dude. But some people actually like that aesthetic. It suits their lifestyle. Maybe they work in business and finance, but trust me, you can tell when someone is insecure and they always need to rock fitted clothes. And that's also going to translate to pants as well. The style industry on the internet just loves talking about how skinny denim is gonna make you taller, blah, blah, blah. I get it, maybe it does make you look taller and maybe relaxed fit pants make you look shorter. But who really cares? In fact, I feel like that statement can make people feel more insecure and more self-conscious about their height and that makes them only gravitate towards fitted clothes. This all comes down to being comfortable in your own skin. Next up, like I said in the previous point, I was always so self-conscious about always looking shorter or maybe just looking out of place if I didn't wear skinny fitted pants. But because that's the stigma of not wearing fitted pants, you know, looking shorter, maybe looking out of place, looking like a, a child or whatever people say nowadays, I just became more and more insecure about my height. 5'7 gang, what up? But as soon as I tried more relaxed fitting pants and learned how to style them, I just began to like it a ton and then just stopped caring about whether I look short or not. Really, if you fall into this mindset of if you don't wear fitted clothes, if you don't wear skinny denim, you're gonna look shorter or you're gonna look a lot skinnier, or whatever people say online. This is why I don't always recommend watching just style YouTube. I recommend, you know, reading articles, following female fashion influencers. And I'm going a little off topic, but you start to dress to overcompensate for your own insecurity instead of just being comfortable with your own skin. At least that's just my story. But now I can rock both relaxed and skinny slim fit pants. I feel comfortable wearing either without, oh, I'm gonna look short. The ladies aren't gonna like that. When in reality, guys, the ladies actually like a dude who can accept all of his shortcomings See what I did there? And it's just himself. So that's the second reason it made me more comfortable in my own skin. And I know if you guys are currently in the same mindset as I was, this is going to apply to you and you're going to see the benefits of it. Next reason why I stopped with the skinnies is because it gave me more options. With fitted clothes, there's really only one look you can pull off. Just an entire fit of clothes that hug your body. Now, you can always switch it up and add different pieces and you know accessories and make it your own style, but overall the silhouette just looks like your body. Now with relaxed fit and oversized clothes, it can drastically change up your silhouette, making for a more tasteful look. But Johnny, you only are into oversized clothes because it's a trend. You're a trend follower, you suck. Maybe, maybe not. It's been around for a while and I do believe it's here to stay, but either way, you have options when composing your outfits. Oversized hoodie, skinny denim, looks great. Relaxed fit pants and a more fitted top, still looks great. Relaxed fit pants and an oversized top, it looks great too. And an all fitted outfit looks great as well. But that's all you can rock if you were in the mindset I was, 
pretty much my whole entire life. When you try different cuts, different silhouettes, you can play with size contrasting. You can play with your proportions, you can try new sneakers, or you can style the same sneaker just in a different way. What I love about relaxed fit pants is I can always adjust the pants if I want to go for a different look. With these relaxed fit cargos, I am all about letting it just lay on the sneaker for a unique look, but also I'm down with cuffing the pants to give it a different vibe for the day. Pin rolling is another option if you want to go for that slim tapered look down in the ankle area. You get to show off the sneaker, you let your ankle breathe, it's perfect for the spring vibes. And this alone allows you to get more bang for your buck for any relaxed fit pants that you purchase instead of just rocking them one way. Next up is proportions. Sizing. Among the most overlooked aspects of outfit composition, sizing and proportion is unique to everyone. We all got different body types, some people are part of the thick boy club, some people are in the shorty and skinny club. Whatever your body type is, it's going to allow you or complicate your experience with certain looks. That SLP look may suit me more than a dude that has a little more heft to him. Some aesthetics just have a preferred and an ideal body type. The Rick Owens aesthetic is suited for more slim fit, athletic guys who lift a little bit of weights. SLP more skinnier dudes as well. I love the SLP look. It definitely suits my body type very well. It's just not my choice of fitment every day of the week and for the rest of my life. But anyways, relaxed fitting pants has expanded my own personal fashion spectrum. I used to be afraid of picking up Air Force Ones because I have a unique body type. Again, 5'7 gang and I have size 11 feet. That's not very common, okay? Short dude, thick ass feet. I say this in every video, but I gotta tell you guys, you know, this is like one of the most important things about fashion is just understanding yourself. So me rocking the Air Force Ones, which already is known for being chunky with skinny denim, just that ain't what's up, man. It doesn't look good on me at all. And any skinny pants really shouldn't be worn with these unless you're like over six feet. But you can balance the chunkiness of the Air Force Ones by wearing a more relaxed fit. Take this outfit, these cargo pants from 5'11", pin rolled, of course, looks a lot better with it than my pair of skinnies. Sure, the ankle is tapered because I pin rolled it, that's fine, but the overall silhouette of these pants compensates for the Air Force Ones because the thigh area is more relaxed fit. This has also allowed me to have gone into the tech wear aesthetic, which is known for more relaxed fitting bottoms. All because I was able to let go of skinny denim for even just one day a week. Check these Nike Lab ACG cargos from the Fall Winter 18 collection. RIP Nike Lab, by the way, super sexy and functional, but I would never be able to rock this a few years ago. With more techie looks, it's best to just lean into it because you're never gonna see a tech fit with fitted clothes unless it's hashtag tech wear and you want to rock it for playing on dust too. So I think you guys get the point now. You got more options. It makes it a lot more fun. But also as a bonus point, we can all just agree it's more comfortable. Even if you're wearing skinnies with stretch in it, it's still hugging your legs, which makes it not that great for breathability. But with relaxed fit pants, it's more free flowing. It's more tasteful if you know how to style it. So let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, Black Taylor. They are an online streetwear company that focuses on cargo pants. This is my introduction to dropping skinnies, you know, once a week or so. Now, just to be clear, these aren't tech wear cargo pants. If you guys follow the tech wear industry, you guys know why. A lot of their items don't have weatherproofing and all that. That's totally cool, but it still does give off a techie vibe. It's so for me, it was a great introduction to the aesthetics of tech wear and just switching up my regular streetwear aesthetic as well. You can definitely see a change on my Instagram. Just, you know, scroll back if you want, but from before to now, there's a huge difference. It's definitely stepped up my fashion game just a tiny bit. You know, I still can't dress, but geez, what a difference. I've always liked their nylon N17 cargo pants because they don't have the cuff that makes it look like a jogger. Nothing wrong with that either. I started out with their C1 cargos, which I fell in love with, but I have since moved on to these ones, which have this awesome, unique silhouette, and you're able to adjust the strap at the bottom for many different type of looks. So if you guys are interested in picking up an item, just go ahead and click the link in the description. You guys can use my discount code to save some money. And trust me, you're really gonna like it, especially if you just wanna switch up your aesthetic. You know, you've been rocking skinny denim, skinny pants for a ton of your life. These cargo pants are gonna drastically change your mindset and allows you to have more fun, play with sizing and all that. It's great. And also, as a disclaimer, although they are the paid sponsor of this video, I have purchased from them many times in the past with my own money, and I would only recommend brands that I really like. And if you guys do make any purchases, I really appreciate that. It really does help my channel a ton. But what do you guys think? Are you gonna give relaxed fit pants a shot? If not, it's totally cool. This is just my experience with skinny denim, you know, YouTube, IG outfits, my personal outfits. Seriously though, if you really want to step out of your comfort zone, try relaxed fitting pants. You don't have to buy from the sponsor of today's video. You can just get any relaxed fit pants from any store. I just think it makes this fashion thing a lot more fun instead of, oh, the ladies, the ladies, I want the ladies. Instead, you can dress more for you and not just because what you see online or what I have said in my old videos. If you made it this far, turn that like button blue for me. It's really gonna help your boy out. The YouTube algorithm, guys, is gonna bless this channel with love. 
<laughs> and also, how about you comment down Clorox because I went to Walmart and people are already freaking out. My state is surrounded by COVID-19 cases and uh, people are panic buying. So these are these are precious, okay? And so that when the YouTube algorithm recommends this video to uh, a different audience and they aren't subscribed to my channel, they can just see that maybe Clorox is one of the reasons why I you know, stop wearing skinny denim. And so I know that you're cool. Follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free. I'm out, bro. Peace. I should probably disinfect everything I touch.